Hello everyone and welcome to Website Planet. Today I'll be showing you how to create your own stunning website in no more than 15 minutes using Wix.com. Wix is a powerful website builder where you can create your own professional looking website using only a template and a drag and drop system. It's that easy. This video tutorial will show you how to create a free basic photography website. Don't worry, the principles involved in creating a website with Wix are the same whether it's a photographer's gallery or an online store, blog or business. First navigate to our Wix page by clicking the link below and opening the Wix page in a new tab in your browser. Once you reach Wix's elegant and simple screen, click on the start now button in the middle of the page. The page that opens is the sign up page where you can sign up either by entering and confirming your email address and password or by using your Facebook or Google account. Linking your social media accounts with Wix allows for a quicker sign up process in the future. In either case, you're not committing to anything and you will not be asked for any credit card details. After you've created your account and remember there is no email verification necessary, a new page will open asking you to answer a few questions about yourself. You can skip this part by clicking skip in the lower right hand corner and proceed with creating your first website. You will arrive to the template section, our starting point where you can choose from nearly 200 templates. These are arranged in over 15 categories, with each category having several subcategories. There are three filters available that can display the newest templates, the most popular ones, and the blank templates where you can create a website from scratch or build upon the bare minimum design. Alternatively, you can search at the top of the left sidebar for a keyword or phrase if you want to be more specific. As mentioned, we are building a photographer's website, so we're going to select photography. This will present you with three subcategories in the left sidebar. I'm going to choose the selection for commercial and editorial. On the right, you'll now see a selection of different templates you can view or edit. By scrolling down, you'll see that there are two pages or templates to browse through. In this case, I will select the online photos template as an example that best suits my needs. Hover your mouse over the template. Two buttons will appear, edit and view. In the lower left, there is an info link that shows what the template is best suited for, as well as a short description. Clicking the view button opens a working version of the website in a new browser. You can edit the chosen website by clicking on edit this site on the pop-up screen or at the top right of the screen. I'm going to choose the pop-up to get a better look at the website. The upper left corner offers a preview of the website in both desktop and mobile versions. If you want to look at different templates, simply click on the previous tab. You can keep several tabs open to compare the different templates. Once you preview the templates you like, it's time to do some modifications of your own. Although there are quite a few appealing templates, I'm sticking with my original choice, so I'm going to close all the tabs except the online photos template and use it as a basis for my website. Click the edit this site button on the top right to open the HTML5 editor in a new browser. Wix's own quick walkthrough will pop up the first time you edit a template. As you're already following our instructions, you can close it. Plus we go much deeper into details, so there's that. The first thing I'm going to do is save my website. At the top right of the screen, click save on the top menu. There are two options here regarding the domain of your website. You can either use a free Wix domain or connect the website to your own personal domain if you have one. For now, let's stick with Wix. Type in the desired name and click save and continue. In my case, the site will be called the Odessa Files. I don't want to publish my site right now, so I'll get back to this in a few minutes. Before I start to modify the website to my liking, let's have a look at the interface. On the left, there are seven buttons. Menus and Pages allows you to add a new page or modify existing ones. This will also appear in the drop down menu at the top left corner of the website, right above the buttons. Dragging and dropping will change the order in the menu. And you can also nest menu items so that they form a drop down in the website's navigation bar. You will notice each page has a more option icon where you can perform some basic tweaks like renaming or duplicating a page, as well as go through some advanced settings and SEO options. Clicking on the background button allows you to change the background color, image, and or video. The plus button will give you options to add many new elements to your pages, including text, images, buttons, videos, and lots more. 
Next is the app market, which allows you to add both free and premium features and services to your website, such as comments, forums, chats, social tools, and others. You can also upload your own media files like images, videos, and even music via the uploads button, as well as add a booking service to your website to manage your schedule. Lastly, you can create a Wix blog to express yourself and further grow your online community. At the top menu bar next to the previously mentioned pages dropdown, you'll find buttons for editing the desktop and mobile versions of the website. By clicking on the smartphone icon, you'll be greeted with a pop-up that quickly goes through the basics of the mobile editor. The central part of the menu bar is occupied by the usual options you'll find on a top menu bar such as website related options, various settings, tools, a help section, as well as developer options and the upgrade sections which I'll get to later. On the far right there are buttons for zooming out which also acts as an in-page preview, undoing and redoing an action, as well as saving, previewing and publishing the website. So let's get started. The first thing on the menu is to change the heading of the site. To do this simply click on the text box in the heading and click on edit text or double click the text box. As you can see the formatting toolbar opens where you can change the many elements of the selected text including the usual text formatting options like style, font and size but also add shadow effects for a more eye-catching header. I'll leave the settings as they are and I'll type the name of my website the Odessa files. I can also add animations to my header by clicking this button. Hover over each option to get a preview of the animation which you can further customize. Next, I'm going to modify the menu as it suits me. First, I'm going to change portraits to portfolio and fashion to London. Then I'm going to delete the client showcase page and add a new gallery called Bruges. To change the name of a page, click on the menus and pages icon on the left, select the page that you wish to edit, then click the more options icon to the right and choose rename. Change the name and click done. In this case, I've changed the name to portfolio. I'll also add a description to the gallery so that my visitors know exactly what they're looking at. As a self-respecting photographer, you want to delete the existing images and add your own. To do this, click on any of the images as they are actually one big block and click change images. Delete the images by clicking on the trash bin icon that will appear in the bottom right of the image once you hover over it or by selecting an image and pressing delete on your keyboard. Now click on the orange add buttons icon to upload your images. By clicking on upload media in the top left corner, you'll be presented with a variety of sources to upload from. I'll upload some images from my own computer. For each image, you can edit and add tags as well as edit the image in the photo editor by clicking crop and rotate in the right sidebar. Select all images and click add to gallery. On the right hand side, you can change the title of the image, add a description, or a link. You can also drag and drop images into a new order. Click on done when you finish rearranging. For this gallery page, I still need to change the main image. To do this, click on it and click change image. You can now upload a new image or use one that is already uploaded. Before I proceed any further, let me mention that Wix supports an auto save option. So every time you make a significant change to your website, your progress is saved. I will now repeat this exercise to create a page for my photographs of London. Change the title of the fashion page to London, delete the existing images and upload my new shots. Change the order and titles and captions, and then change the gallery image, title and description.
To delete a page, go back to the Menus and Pages button and select the page you want to delete. Click the More Options icon in the right and select Delete. I want to delete the page Client Showcase and replace it with the Gallery page for Bruges. To add a new page, return once more to the Menus and Pages and click the blue Add Page button at the bottom of the menu. As you can see, this will load a blank template. I could have just duplicated the London page and changed the relevant details that would certainly be quicker and in line with the rest of the website by following the uniform design. However, for the sake of this tutorial, let's just try something different. Click on Add button, select Gallery and choose Grid. This will insert a pre-formatted 3x6 grid gallery complete with default images and position it as the center of the page. Since there is no header, let's insert one. Click on Add once more, select Text and choose Add Heading 2. As with the gallery, the header will be positioned centrally, so you might want to move it to the top left corner right next to the grid line so it doesn't interfere with the images. Purple grid lines will appear to indicate perfect alignment with the top and side grid lines. Now that I have a title and a gallery, I can repeat this exercise from above to remove the existing images and add my own. I can reposition my new page simply by sliding it into position in the site menu from menus and pages. Unlike my previous galleries, this particular gallery has no description, so let's add one. I will once again insert a text box, only this time I will select the middle paragraph only. Change the text and reposition the description text box beneath the gallery title for a natural flow of browsing. Since I've added a new page, this time I modify the contact page. You can find it under about in this particular template. I can modify and edit it exactly the same way as the other pages. Obviously you want to delete the image and add your own as well as your contact information. If you click on the contact form and select manage fields, you can add and remove fields as you wish. Name and email fields are mandatory for obvious reasons, so you can remove other fields and add a custom one. If you click on the gear button next to manage fields, you can further customize your contact form by changing the text of the send button or setting up messages that appear once someone submits a form or misses to fill in the required information. You can also edit the layout and design to further customize how your form looks. I can also add many other elements to any page from the plus icon. For example, you can add more social media buttons, video, audio, documents, as well as various buttons, menu, submenu, and much, much more. All of these can simply be dragged around on screen into position and edited to suit. Now that we've got a basic layout, let's take a look at modifying the overall look of the website. Return to the home page. First, I'm going to add a logo to each page. Click the plus icon, select image, and then pick up the upload option that best suits you. You can either upload your own image or import it from your social media accounts if you have your logo there. Drag and drop the logo into place, then right click on the image. At the bottom of the menu, you'll see the show on all pages option, Click on it to make sure your logo is displayed on every page of your website. As the slideshow images are the focal point of the home page, I'm going to change these images to my own shots just as I did with the gallery pages. I can also change the design of the website by clicking on the background button. I can pick a different background where it's a different color or an image or a video. Wix offers a selection of high quality images and videos, but you can also add your own.
As with the logo, remember to click apply to other pages and tick all pages so that the change is global. Don't forget to preview your site frequently both in the desktop and mobile form to make sure everything is in order. When you are fully satisfied with the look of your website, press the publish button and your website will go online with the address you created at the beginning. Click view site to see your work in action. Even though I've published my site, I can come back to it at any time to make additional changes to it. Just make sure that you click on publish again to update the website. You can also create multiple websites, each with a different name and template. To manage the sites, navigate to site at the top of the screen, select exit editor, then select the website you wish to edit. In the upper right corner of the large thumbnail template, a set of quick actions will appear. These will allow you to duplicate the website, delete or rename it, as well as tweak ownership settings. Once you select the website you wish to edit, you will find your website's dashboard in the left of the screen. Your dashboard contains a set of tools to manage your website and business, depending on what apps and services you have on your site, as well as displaying recommended apps and helpful tips for your website. All of this can be done for free. Wix does a great job at customizing various aspects of the website at no expense. However, if you want to make your site even more customized to your own business, like adding your own domain name for example, you can upgrade to one of these subscription options by clicking the upgrade button at the top corner of the screen. As you can see, there are five different subscription options which you can compare in terms of what features you get with each of the premium plans. Naturally, every free service has some limitations. For instance, once you publish your free site, you will notice that there is a Wix subdomain in the address. While it's not terrible, this looks less creditable than your own branded domain, which is arguably a much better way to promote your business and create a professional online presence. Then, free Wix websites feature a small banner at the top and bottom of the page promoting Wix, and you have to pay for premium apps and features. Premium plans migrate these shortcomings and offer many additional benefits, including extra bandwidth and storage for more high quality content on your website, 24-7 online bookings, and premium support. More advanced premium plans offer features like email campaigns, automatic reminders, online courses and classes, staff calendars, and a full online store functionality. Upgrading your account from free to premium is easy with the option of monthly, annual, or biannual subscriptions. This would conclude the crash course on how to create a free website with Wix, an extremely powerful website creation tool that allows you to have a website live in 15 minutes or so. Click on the link below and go to the Wix start page. For more information, please visit WebsitePlanet.com to read a comprehensive Wix review as well as find information on other website builders that will help you create your own stunning website or online store. Mm -hmm.